name is Leandro Mada. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a basic alert management for the PLCs M241 or M251 in Saw Machine or EcoStructure Machine Expert. So let's go to the example. For this example, what we need to know is first enable the visualizations and um, get to know how we can use the table element for the web visualization. Along with that, what we need is the library for the time, the system RTC, in order to capture the actual time of the PLC and also use it in the alert management. So let's go to the application. So you can see in here the two elements that we require to use from this example are these two. Okay, this one, if we go to the toolbox, go to <laughs> common controls, okay we have the table. This table okay, that I have used in here is linked to two arrays, okay, one for history and the other one for active alarms. So in this project I mentioned also that I have used the system RTC and the system RTC allows you to read the information from the actual time of the controller. This information is used in my example to show on the visualization the date and time. We're going to cover this part. So, what, what, what I have done here is to create this GBL okay, for alarms with four different arrays. Okay? You can see here these two that basically compare the actual alarm that I have, the definition of the alarms, and the alarm from the previous scan of the controller. You can see here this is the structure okay and each alarm has a code, a message and the actual state. If we go back here into this one for the history okay and active okay they share the same structure and here we have more information the code, the message and state and also the date and time. So what we need to do with this is to first, on the GBL, define the amount of active alarms that I want to see on the visualization and also for the historical. Once you have this, you need to define the amount of alarms that your system have. Okay. Once you define this, you should be able to see on the visualization the correct data. How does it work? First, you will need to define the variables that you have using this prg underscore config underscore alarms. Here, you will need to define the code that you are using for each alarm and the message. Okay, once you have this, you will need to trigger the alarms. And in order to trigger each alarm, as you can see over here, okay, has this state. This state will be executed when with your logic in your code and then this will trigger the visualization to see here the state. So if we show you this for example I in simulation with a uh, fake controller okay login I go to the visualization over here so let me just visualize this vertical okay good so you can see here this one is from the past that we do some test so if I execute for example this alarm you can see that the alarm is is it true this is the date and here you can see the active alarms if I select new one active alarm you can see the state and if I for example delete this one it's not delete but change the status. You can see that the only one active is alarm number three. Okay. And here you can see on the historic that it went to true to false. Okay. And if I delete this one, once again, there is no active alarms. You can see the state. Okay, so this is very simple. You can use this example to copy the POUs for the time and 
these two folders okay and also the visualization and play with it in your program and if you want to know how does it work okay we have this prg management alarm so basically what it does okay the first two function are to retrieve the date and time and then what i do is to compare two different arrays okay for the alarms these two okay which is the general these two include all the arrays of alarms that we have pre-configured over here in the config alarms with this information and also it includes the states as you can see over here okay so what it does is to compare the this array alarm general with the general array from the previous scan so when you see a change it says it means that there is a new alarm trigger or it's a chain of states of one of the alarms that is what it does over here okay and this will allow me to put this information in different um, in different arrays I have one for historic and another one for the active alarms the easy one is for the historical to just put the information one to the other next to the other and you just move the registers which is this action and then for the active alarms probably a little bit more complex but it's the same logic so you just need to compare when you change the status and then execute an action basically start and you also have the possibility to clear the list using this fun this function over here these commands these variables that are also in the gbl alarms okay so i'm going to share this project they can also be open in ecostructure machine export okay it works directly on some machine but if you want you can export that to the newer platform and you just need to copy the folders or you can export the folders along with the visualization and then you can use it in your program so this is a small example how you can make a basic alarm management to see on the web visualization um, basically you just need to copy the project add also the library for the system rtc and that's it thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one